Hello, Rejects. It's Greg here. It's I just realized my shirt, my shirt can do this. It's Christmas time. It's cold outside. So I'm in my, you know, bumming it out it's outfit. It's Christmas time. My long sleeve raggedy shirt. I know. I like it. It looks like you just got back from, like, chopping wood and Shit. drinking maple yeah. syrup. Oi, John. Hey. I caught you a gazelle. I caught you a gazelle. Chop down some wood for you. All right, John. We're going to watch the trailer. There's a show coming out on FX called Taboo. Taboo. Produced by Ridley it's a Scott. Biopic of that guy from the Black Eyed Peas. No, no, no more jokes. Right, no so more jokes. The rest of this video. Produced by Ridley. Scott. Produced by Ridley Scott, starring Thomas Hardy. I think it's an FX miniseries because I doubt Tom Hardy would just be like, "Fuck it, I'll do an FX show for the rest of my <laughs> six years." <laughs> okay, there's like four 30 second promos, or I think one of them is one minute long. So we're looking at like a full two minutes here, wow. two and a half minutes. It's shotgun them all right now. You know, we'll decide based off feeling when we'll stop and talk about it or if we, you know, just want to move on to the next one. Let's see. We're going to start off with the first one, Taboo, The Prestige. The Prestige. Ouch. Oh. Dead in Africa. James Desire. Left. Damn. Ooh, no. Alright, so first impressions. First impressions, John, okay? You know, we're a movie talk show, so just a, just a little bit of talking here, okay? Yeah. Stylistically, very cool. I'm a big fan of American like Horror Story. American Horror Story is on FX. I see similarities a lot in style already from like certain framing and visual like violence that were being presented here. Like if American Horror Story took place in like one of those BBC periods. Yeah, shows, exactly. Like, a, like in Jonathan Strange, like if that's where yeah. you know, an, an American Horror Story was taking place. Yeah, I see that. You know, just seeing Tom Hardy in, a, in something like this is really cool. Tom Hardy is not shy of any kind of genre or no. project, but this looks to have a horror element in there that is like... Oh yeah, Tom Hardy and like some horror theme kind of show. Yeah. That sounds pretty cool. Alright, that's only 30 seconds. Let's move on to the next one. He looks like Charlie Hunnam in this. Doesn't he? Yeah, it looks a little bit like him and Charlie Hunnam could play brothers. That too. Conquest. Oh. Conquest. And plunder. Nice. <laughs> I know the evil that you do. Because I was once part of it. Ah. <laughs> I really want to see this show. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to see this show like really bad. Yeah, this <laughs> looks pulpy as hell. This looks awesome. It looks like pulp. I love period pieces too, and I love period. Yeah. I love period pieces in shows where you really get a sense of the time that they're in. That grimy this. Cockney accent just just doesn't. Yeah, do it yeah. You know, before we went to the next trailer, what is the IMDb plot of this? A man who has been at the ends of the earth and comes back irrevocably changed, believed long dead. He returns to London from Africa. Okay, yeah, because we did see some of that Africa moment in there. In 1814, to inherit what is left of his father's shipping empire. But when this legacy is revealed to be a poison chalice with enemies in every dark corner, James must navigate complex territories to avoid his own death sentence. Ooh, it's like a Game of Thrones, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It's not like the show Game of Thrones, but it's a game of authority, a game of power we're dealing with here. I love, especially a show when the show is a lot about the rise to power or like corrupt power too. Yeah, yeah. That, that's always very intriguing to me. It makes me want to be a criminal. Wondering if these if these problems are gonna get more storyish now, because like the first two at least have been very like stylish. Look at all, yeah. Look yeah. at how cool our style is. Well, this next one, thirty seconds, called Dear James. Uh oh, uh oh. Dear James, ever since you came back, time itself has stopped. Eyes I didn't know I had were opened. Wow. wow. James, but I need to be wary of you. Those civilized women would have intentions regarding him. John, define the word taboo. Taboo is like something that's that's sort of widely viewed as, uh, you know, 
forbidden or faux pas. You know? I think that really describes this, what we're seeing so far. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. this looks evil as fuck. <laughs> this does not look yeah. pleasant whatsoever. I love the production design of everything. I feel like this trailer gave us even more into like the, the lustful, sexual yeah, side of the yeah, world. Yeah. And that's what I mean, like this is perfect for FX to do something like this. When I, especially when I think of like American Horror Story, which is so filled with lust and violence and gore. There seems to be like ghostly things happening here. Like this doesn't yeah, seem like I it's just tell, human yeah. characters. I feel like there is like some supernatural element at play here. This one shot here where he's like underwater, Tom Hardy looks like a ghost is strangling him. Yeah, or something. And then like you get these other shots of like people and like who are just super pale or like they have like some white makeup all over them. This chick who's like being like, like she's tied out like this and her legs are spread and there's candles around her like i feel like this will deal with like witchcraft in some way oh yeah i mean this seems like and this is the time period for witchcraft deeds, yeah. you know like all uh, taboo seems like a perfect title like you said it, it seems like it's all going to be sort of dark uncomfortable stigmatic deeds yeah <laughs> stigmatic oh you and the words and i ever, love the words you use I don't know if that's actually a real word. <laughs> oh, well, it is now. Some of these shots look if, like oil paintings. It feels yeah. like a haunting show. Yeah, it does. Like, if, if, if I was to hear, like, a British haunting, this has, like, kind of that foggy look about it, you know? Yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> the shadows and everything. The production, I mean, who's this is FX, man. Yeah. Their production design is intense. They have like, a lot of money. Okay, here we go. There's a minute trailer called Little Men. Ooh, I hope it's about midgets. Little people. Little men. Midgets. You're a little man, aren't you? <laughs> Not midgets. Dwarf. Don't you dare Sometimes. stand there and judge me, little man. Whoa! So he's not like an African I slave I attended Mr. Delaney's funeral, and a ghost appeared. A son. We all thought dead in Africa. James Kuzaya Delaney. I have sworn that I will do a very, very foolish thing. <laughs> I was once part of it. This man is merely a London monk. I witnessed an interesting behavior in darkness that you cannot conceive. Just kill him! Can't kill him. <laughs> People might not agree with me saying this, but it sort of feels like this is American Horror Story meets Game of Thrones. Yeah, kind of. I, I can see <laughs> yeah. where, you're, where you're coming from with with that, you know, 19... Like, we got this Tom Hardy character. 19th century. We got this Tom Hardy character with, like, who's this character where everyone's like, he should be dead. I don't understand. He should yeah. be dead. I wouldn't be surprised if he did die and he came back from the dead and that's his character. Or mm. if he is just a ghost or something. Or or yeah. maybe he has some kind of weird, you know... Supernatural power to himself. Yeah. yeah. Or, or supernatural affliction. While he is the central character where a lot yeah. of this plot is revolving around... It does seem like we're going to get a, a wide variety of other characters in this political power at this time where it oh, seems yeah. like a war is going to break out. And that's why I get like an American horror story in terms of its violence, its lust, that kind of sinister approach, political power at war here, you know? I don't accredit these only to American horror story. Like I get it has like that kind of the horror -y bits feel kind of American Horror Story, but this is stuff that's popular across the board. I mean, oh, totally. it's it's dark and, and airy and it's period and it's high production value and it's intrigue. Not that this is going to be, you know, it's it's the politics of, of, of whatever that situation is. Yeah, but he's like, Tom Hardy's like character seems see like he's returning body. back home to like take control. Yeah, yeah. Take totally. reign of all this stuff, and, uh, and it seems like he's out to kill people. Because they keep showing that one shot, on all the trailers, that one shot where he has something in his hand. He's got like the blood forming on his forehead. Yeah. And I keep wondering, like, who is it that he killed there? Is that a past moment? Is that yeah. like when he is returns now? home? Is that yeah. like, is that the ooh shit moment at the end of episode one? Yeah, I mean, I, I, it seems like we're probably going to get to know all these characters. Now you have my bit. curiosity. I saw a lot of Jonathan Strange recently. I still got to finish that series, but I get that kind of vibe from this just with a darker, sort of horrific edge. And hey, that means some, there's some uh, good cast and there's some good character actors and stuff. Jonathan Price. Jonathan Price, Tomorrow Never Dies, Pirates of the Caribbean. Best. Those are his go-to roles, film. right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Run, just one right after the other. It was the Price streak. Yeah. This, looks this looks like cool. a whole other level of TV. This looks know? cool. I wonder, I, I wonder if Ridley Scott directed any episodes. I wouldn't 
be surprised. That'd be pretty cool if he like directed the pilot or something. Yeah. That, that, that would make me a million times more intrigued to watch it. I get excited when like a big film director directs like a pilot or something. Like when Seth oh, Rogen and yeah. Evan Goldberg did Preacher or when Scorsese did Boardwalk Empire. I get really enthused about checking stuff out. Now is a cool time for TV in that regard because you're seeing, you know, cooler and cooler and more interesting stuff you know getting a platform now and then you know even yeah. movie like filmmakers like being on tv isn't as weird as it used to be it's true you dude know? this haunting dread looks very appealing yeah. i can't wait let's do it let's do it taboo all right rejects if you're new to the channel subscribe today and become a reject john is reasons to jerry on his twitter and instagram and he is a social media manager of facebook's bloom house and facebook's real rejects page and uh, shout out shout to it. Tom Hardy when he is hard. I read a quote about him, like talking about how he once, you know, experimented with men mm -hmm. because he was an, he's an artist, but yeah. he realized it wasn't for him. And I found myself on a similar path just because he had that quote. I believe that about you. You better.